I run the home now, Mr. Wilson. This is August of 5th, 1954. This is Bob Wambacher and I'm Carl Wambacher, Jim Bernard. And we're going to try to get Mr. Wilson here to answer a few questions. We've got the questions written out on slips. And the first one is, uh, are well, we going to ask him where he was born? I'll hand him the slip of paper. Near Watertown, New York. Watertown, Jamison County. And then uh, we have another question here from Mr. Wilson. Is you, uh, next question, Mr. Wilson will ask you how old it is today. Mr. Wilson is reading the paper now. How old do you think? 107. 107 years. After New York. When I was nine years old, I went in with my father, four teenagers. They have two brothers, actors on the stage. The youngest one is the one that shot Lincoln later on. We were there that evening. After it was the first time when I was out in there, but about a week later, one evening, I was in the United States and his wife was sitting in an audience. He walked up and he shot him and I him back in the head. He lived about three, four hours. He says six separate tyrannies that means that's the fate of traitors. Holy. Yes, put the body in the room. I'll tell you what, Bob Grant. Every man in the army loves his Grant. You know all about him, you've never read about him. It's not a few words, short, six sentences. After three years, the two armies back and forth, good men, men killed. God got a reinforcement of his forces that day. He sent a message. Over to General Lee, Robert Lee. God says, I want to have a conference with you tomorrow. And he says, that's all right. Do you, you want to furnish a bodyguard? No. Grant walked between the two armies right straight over to Lee's headquarters. The army was in plain sight of one another, the two armies. Something to do over 18, 20,000 men on both sides, all together. He says, Your cause is hopeless, says the lady. I will honor the conference with you in the morning. If it's Lee says, all right, on your own ground. So we talk just a few minutes, and the next morning you are over. He says, your college is hopeless. I give you to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes or no? General Lee said I down and wrote a message. 
That is the beginning of the end of the Civil War. We got what ran down in 15 minutes. Nobody killed the earth. They say that after all their years of fighting, cannon and the cavalry and Grant does not his job in about 15 minutes. Generally, his old men said he was sick and tired of the whole thing and fighting. General Lee was a great war man himself. Well, that is an object lesson for posterity. Just think of it, there are thousands of men in the ranks all around there. That one man just accomplished all that in 15 minutes. All the hundreds of men killed were not, nothing too bad. But that's war. The dynamite wasn't invented at that time, but there was plenty of gunpowder in. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more content like this, be sure to take a shot at the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest bird dog content. And if you'd like to support the channel, for a limited time there's exclusive Civil War Diaries merchandise available in the video link below.